and welcome back okay guys what i want to try and achieve is you see when this guy here mistakenly collide on any of the goblin boxes or box i want those box to shatter so what i'm going to do to achieve this is i'm going to go into this website it's called devassets.com in fact all of this link will be included in the description area so the box that i need is right here is called western pro pack this very one click on that and of course you can always contribute to these guys okay so i'm going to click on that so maybe at least you guys can just offer something to them for their great job so i'm going to click on that to download it so once that is downloaded let's get that minimized and collapse this let's go straight to our games all right my western pro pack is already on my system so if i double click on it there go straight into the model right there and right here that is the folder that i'm looking for the folder is called wooden crate so if you click on that that is the wooden crate and here you see this one the very first one that i clicked on that is the uncracked one okay it's not cracked but here the second one you will see wooden crate cracked that's the one that, that i need really okay you can see the pieces of it right so i'm going to grab that just drag it and let's paste it somewhere here let me zoom in so that you guys can see it so that is it right up there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to sort of like click on this arrow to drop it down there we go and i will select all of the pieces because they are all into pieces as you can see look at it so let's add a mesh collider to it what the mesh collider does is kind of like adjust itself to each of the crack version so let's come right and right here where we have uh, add components and i'm going to look for mesh collider that is it. click on that there we go i already have my mesh collider there and one other thing is i need i need to check out this convex here look at it it's right underneath the mesh collider click on that there we go and you can see this all the different parts they are all highlighted in green okay and the other thing we need to now add is a rigid body so come right here click on that and let's look for a rigid body there we go add a rigid body to it there each of them now has a rigid body and let's see see right here you see the mass i'm going to make it zero points maybe six kilo yeah that's fine there and let's see okay i'm going to leave it like that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go straight into my code here okay i'm going to now come straight in here grab the you see my rotator yeah that's where my code is going to be that's strange so let's double click on the rotator open it up and in here the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create so right inside my code view here i'm going to create the following let's say public game object and that very game object i'm going to call it break it's a break box okay that is it now the next thing i'm going to do is let's create a private method in there so this private method i think i should put that right underneath here so i'm going to say private void on collusion let's look for on collusion events come right there it should be there somewhere on collusion stay there and in there and i want to instantiate which means i just 
want you to create as many as possible instantiate my breaker box comma transform dot position comma transform dot rotate and that's all there is to it or dot rotation there we go there enter my semicolon there and right underneath I also want you to destroy the object that it actually collided with there we go that is game object enter a semicolon there as well and that's it that's all there is to it just these lines of code I'm gonna make sure that is saved okay so that is saved now just waiting for it to save okay that's good minimize that and now I'm gonna come in here that is my that is the crack version okay and I want to convert that very crack version I want to convert it to a prefab okay I'm only using that with my cube here that I call goblin so I just want it to get shot and that's all we can always use the one from uh, the Western Pro pack but I'm just using this one that's cool so let's grab this drag it and just drop it right inside our assets store here drop it there so it's now asking me do you I want to convert it to an ordinary prefab I'm gonna say yes there we go and that is it right there and this very one I will just delete it from the system delete that is it done now you see my goblin this very one if I select it remember there's a code attached to it the rotator was attached to it if I select it come right down here I should be able to see the variable called break a box that is it right there it's now asking me which box do you want me to break and that is the box right here this very one click drag and drop it right inside there there we go okay that is that all done so what I'm gonna do next is because the color is not the same I'm, I'm gonna change the color but before that let's run it and make sure we are able to break the we are able to destroy these goblins then I just change the colors around let's see there we go uh, let's okay let's go for any of the one oh we are able to jump that should not happen okay, that means I'm gonna have to increase the height of the maze has to be increased let's see if this one yeah we're able to break that look at it look at that it's all ch shattered look at the up the next one and these other ones let's shatter, get this one shattered as well look at that okay so I'm gonna change the color of everything let's go in there gently there all right that's good and I will also add sound to it first thing first let me go straight into that material where is it material here double click on that that is the color select the color come right to the albedo and just select something grayish yeah that's it it now looks like the box that I'm breaking so that's fine okay now the next thing I want to do is let's save that save what I've done so far the next thing that I want to do now is the is to add sound let me add sound to this very box there okay first of all I need a sound which I don't have in here I think I have one on my system let me look for it so let's come in here I think I have something here where is it explosion let's look for that you can always look for an ideal ideal sound for you so let's come here there we go large explosion let's drop it in there there now close this I don't need that anymore I'm going to select my prefab of the cracked version and let's come in here you see where we have Add component click on add component what we need is audio source there we go that is the audio source in there and now I've now added an audio source to my crack version here 
So I will now grab the sound and just drop it right in there. There we go, the sound is there. And make sure you click on play on awake. I don't want it to loop, so I'm going to leave it as that. The sound is very high. So let's come in here and just kind of like reduce the volume. I think this is the volume. Let's reduce it kind of. Let's see. Could this be this one? Let's come in here. I'm just going to move this down a little bit. I think that is the volume, I think. Let's see volume. And that is it. One. The pitch take it down a little bit more and let's run it and see what's gonna happen so I'm going to collide on one of those boxes let's collide on this one I can't hear the sound okay I'm gonna go back to the to the setting let's come in here you see the pitch take it back up and see what's gonna happen first then I can adjust the volume. Let's see what's going to happen. And run it. Let's see. There we go. You hear that, guys? That is good. So let's go to the next one. Oh. See, those are the boxes. He has, he has to find one way or the other to make sure he avoids those colliding with those boxes. There will be those boxes everywhere in the system. So. I've achieved that now, so close that. I now need to add more of those boxes everywhere. So come in here, I call the boxes. There we go. It's called goblins. So let's come in here, add more goblins all around. There. So there will be goblins on its way. So it's left for him to find a way to avoid them. There we go. So let me just speed that, speed that up. Click on here and add more goblins around. Yeah. More here. Okay, I think we have enough goblins on the system now. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do now is because he was able to jump over this the maze. So I'm going to come in here and let's select all of the maze. Come right down here. I think I'm going to have to just pull it up a little bit. And there we go. Just pull it up. Maybe that might be too much. Just tiny a little bit more. Yeah, because I think seven is fine. Now run. And that is it. So I don't think he can jump anymore, no matter how. <laughs> nope, you're not gonna make it, boy. All right. <laughs> oh. So, like I said, all we need to do is to try and avoid. Yes, he should try and avoid those. Right. Go through there. I think it might be. <laughs> Oops. Let's find a way to get out there. Let's see if I'm through here. I think there might be way here. This seems to be too high though. Whoa, there's another one there. You know, there's no way out here. You stuck. Let's see. Come back through here. Yeah. Nope. In this way out here. Come back. Yeah. And there we go. Avoid that. Yeah, it's out. It's out. There we go, guys. Yeah, he made it out. There, look at that, guys. That's nice. There's a building in there. There shouldn't be any building in front of him. And that is it, guys. Okay. And one other thing I'll just need to do is, and I'll just make sure there is 
there is a wall covering everywhere else is going to just fall, off, fall over so i'm going to end that so if you want to see what i'm talking about if i run it look it's going to fall over as you can see see that all right so let's let him fall over look at that we don't want that so i'm going to stop that and let's come back to this gizmo here go to the top i'm just going to add walls around it so let me grab one of these walls this very one here okay let's just grab one which is long enough here yeah, grab this and control d to copy it i'm gonna make that about 200 is that is that long enough yeah i think so all the way yeah so I'm going to copy that control D again and move it right here and copy another one control D change that to zero and bring that here take it right down here yeah control D grab another one there yeah. so and I have walls around so you shouldn't be able to fall over anymore and as you can see those are my walls there we go look at that this is beautiful guys okay see these walls you can as you can see you can always change the tilings let's make it look a little bit more presentable the choice is yours you know how to do that by now there so that is how you create your own maze game in unity Let's run it and see how that's gonna look like look at that guys but there's one thing this wall seems to be too high though because while i was playing it i couldn't see much of it so i'm going to select it all again and just maybe reduce it or push it down a little bit select all i'm coming here and just make it about six there run there is still more work to be done you can also you can also apply lines of code so that we can count the whatever collectibles or if you want to call it space goblin or if you want to call it corona, ooh, corona boxes you can call it whatever you like so the whole idea is for him to be able to avoid you must be able to avoid the boxes and one last thing that is left is just for us to add the the big old man that was smoking smoking joe so i'm gonna end that let's come in here and just add smoking joe somewhere here yeah that is it right there you can always get that the, the character of smoking joe i just call him smoking joe you can always get that in uh, mismo so let's reduce the size of that I'm going to make it about 0 0.1 and make the other 0 0.1 as well. There. Let's position it right in there. Oh, that seems to be too big. Maybe I should just make it 0 0.05. Yeah, that will do the trick. There we go. And that's it, so we don't have to position him properly right there. And there, yeah, that's uh, smoking Joe in position. But there's one more thing make sure it's selected. I'm going to come in here. Let's go to the third person right here. And let's, let me grab the animator. I'm just going to select smoking Joe again, drag the animator, and just drop it in there. It's not going to move around, it, it will just be standing there just shaking his body that's all he will be doing so let's run it and see you see that so let's move now you see the smoking joe is there so let's just go around the maze one more time so i'm going to speed that up so you guys get the whole idea anyway there we go there okay so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this very beautiful tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed 
and I will also include the the link to all of the proofs and the the assets that I use for the development of this project and there we go guys so I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial you all have a nice day now and bye for now and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel it only costs about £1.99p so please join and become a member of the channel that helps with the development of this channel and I also have a second channel that channel is known as Paul Omen so have a look at Paul Omen's channel and you will enjoy every single tutorial that I have on that channel as well so with that, I'm going to say bye for now. Have a nice day, guys. And thanks for watching.